welcome back to Legacy Flat Roof and Sheet Metal. We're on day two of the project. Uh, you saw the estimate uh, price. You saw how we basically come and go with how we're going to do the job. Now we're, um, like I said, day two. We finished installing the strapping. The materials come on site. You see uh, the gentleman in the far there. He is starting to install the siding. He's putting the Z girts on. So when we follow, we'll uh, walk through the job this way. So we started at this end only because this was the more busier end. We installed the strapping and we fastened the metal siding to it. We have metal flashings. There's a snow guard at the end that we ended up working around. So for safety reasons, we've stopped it there. Okay, so we've got back. To, this is the lower roof area. Uh, the strapping is on. I just want to explain some regular details that we're going to cut. You can see the material has been, has been delivered to site. We ended up using a 1x4 inch strapping. We figured that was the strongest and it gave us the most width to install the, the uh, metal pans on. Over here, what we're planning on doing here is we're going to cut a reglet cut within the mortar so we have a metal flashing protecting the this detail here because this is a roof to wall detail we want a metal flashing uh, the roofing the metal roofing will come to here and we'll have a metal flashing we'll have ice and water shield rising up and we close this in nicely over here we're going to do the same currently right now the membrane is completely blistered and folded in on itself. We want to bring the ice and water shield up and over and reflash this in nicely. This is day two of the project. We're thinking it's going to take about three or four days to finish the detail trim and a lot of the just a metal trim that we're going to be looking at. On, uh, if you can look up here, we've got exposed wood. We want to close that in with uh, Peel stick ice and water shield and flash it in. Now we'll go over to that side and I'll discuss uh, what it is we're going to do over there. It's a, it's a nice detail where the elevator hatch comes up with a chute. And we're going to close it with metal siding. We don't want to do the roof only and still have the wall leaking. So we'll go over there and show you what it's like. Okay, so we're at the elevator shaft area I was talking about. Again, we've strapped the roof area, we've strapped up top. And um, what we suggested to the client to do is basically we are going to install a metal siding on this unit behind me. I was afraid of the roof being watertight, but then water getting in behind that metal pan work and underneath my roof. So I uh, know he's doing all this work and leaving out a leaving out cost a little bit more, but in the end it's a quality uh, project. So uh, if you want to look over here, the guys installing the Z girts, we've decided to go five feet spacing. So he's installing the Z girts and that is what we're going to fasten the metal siding to. All these curves are going to be roofed in with metal metal flashing and ice and water. So we're on day two, we're looking another couple of days here. I'll uh, give you another video progress, that's how it's going. Um, okay, you're here with Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal. We're here on day three of this project. We have almost all the flat stock installed and we're just now putting in the metal flashings. We're putting in some snow and ice guard that we said we were gonna install and just some other small detailing work. So uh, this might run into a four day project, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, that's, uh, that's the nature of the business, so I'll walk you through the job and I'll show you where we're going from here. Okay, so that, uh, that top metal now has metal. I don't have the access ladder to come up, but you remember the other side, we installed the metal in the flat part. So we came here, we still have to install the metal flashing 
along that wood fascia needs to be installed all the way over here. So we come down, we installed that metal flashing. All there, there, we installed the, the parapet wall flashing. And then you can see as the metal is uh, coming through, we got the curbs over there installed. We have the men working on the siding as well as the top metal roof. So you can see we have finished installing this. Behind here we have ice and water shield, which is visible here. We just wanted to add some extra protection for the client. So uh, you can see some ice and water shield and we covered it up with some metal. So it looks really nice. We can't, that extra ice and water shield you see is just basically a protection. We're not gonna metal, metal flash the whole masonry. So, you know, this isn't an area where people stand up and sit down, so. You remember this area was full of glass and debris. It's all been removed and the metal's been installed. So, as you can see, we have the metal flash installed over the curb. And also, if I zoom in in the ease trough, you can see the new drip edge flashing we have there to protect the uh, existing wood substrate. So there it is. We still need to install a downspout down on this east trough here. At the end we're going to bring it down and bring it into the alleyway just to eliminate water ponding on this roof here. All the water from this roof will collect onto this roof, hit this east trough, run down here, and then we want to put a downspout down into that alleyway there. So. Okay, there you go. We're on day three of the project. Um, hope you guys are learning something. This is metal metal roofing 101 so we take it from there uh, hello you're here with legacy flat roofing and sheet metal we have come to the completion of the flat of the metal roof slope metal roof project it turned out excellent it really did it turned out beautiful i'm happy with it i think the client will be ecstatic um, we finished all the small details finished all the trim we installed some de-icing cables that the client asked us to install and basically we just uh, cleaned up nice all the caulking is in place all the slope detailing is done properly um, we, the client even selected uh, with some recommendations. We went with a black metal. You've obviously saw that in the previous uh, shots. Basically just to help, he had a bit of ice damming issues. So we installed some ice cable trays and we went with a darker color metal just to uh, help melt the snow in, in the time of winter. So we'll go over the uh, project and I hope you guys uh, really enjoy this one. It turned out really nice, I'm excited. So here we go. So I'll give you an overview of the whole project again. This uh, down there, what you see is Dundas Street. So this is a slope metal roof towards Dundas. We went over existing shingles. Uh, you could see the black cord running on those uh, existing shingles. That's the de-icing cable we just installed. That's um, a product that the client bought and asked us to install. So we went over. We closed up those uh, this detail here really nice. We put, installed new metal flashings. We, uh, we came up the existing parapet wall beautifully. This was the flat area you remember from before. Uh, we'll show you how we did the exhaust pipes. We brought our metal around and cocked it up. That's about all we can do. And uh, really that's, that's an excellent detail right there. So we went around. We had an existing, I don't know if it was an existing skylight or a, a roof hatch, but it was unused so we flashed it in. And uh, basically that's about as watertight as you're going to get it as a beautiful uh, detail from my point of view. We, um, so you can see the rest of the job we panned down. That was the old shingle roof. And you can see the old uh, flat roof. That was the second area flat roof we did. And if you go further, that is the third area flat roof. That elevator shaft again, we, um, this elevator shaft here, what we did, we installed uh, metal siding. Again, just I didn't want to do this whole job and then leave that open and then have it leak. That would be it would be uh, disappointing on my part and the client. Obviously, in the end of the day, we want to supply a, a good product. If you see the top of the elevator shaft, that's all metaled in. Basically, the client um, he really did. He went with a beautiful product. He went with the cost a little more, but you know, at the end of the day, this is the type of system you want when it comes to metal roofing. Um, you want to have it so hopefully in my lifetime this uh, this won't need to be re-roofed again so done properly this will uh, this will outlast pretty much uh, if you're watching this probably you too so um, that's how it goes I'll, uh, I'll go down to lower uh, roofs and show you the details there we did 
Okay, we're on the lower section of the roof now. I just want to show you the detail. Again, this, this section turned out wonderful. I'm uh, really excited about the way this ended out. I um, think the client will be extremely pleased. And I'll just show you how, uh, how it turned out. You remember what the roof looked like when we started this project. You remember the two-ply system that was on it, how rippled it was. Um, you remember the corner and basically the bricks even had shingles used as a waterproofing. So, um, you know, there's a bit of an investment here, but it's definitely something that will make the building a nicer place to be in, a more waterproof, obviously, place to be in. And also, they are planning to rent out the top two uh, areas, so it's definitely uh, be more attractive to higher end clients. So, again, all around, it's a good investment. So, I'll show you this uh, section roof and I'll explain to you the details and how we did it. Okay, you remember this corner here was basically all glass and stuff and you remember this uh, this parapet detail here how it's bubbled out so uh, basically we we just waterproofed it and made it a uh, metal flashing so that's about it basically remember in the membrane you can put your hand in here and uh, that's where that ended okay this was the brick detail we had uh, horrendous uh, mod bit work here and even some shingles so we replaced that all the metal flashing you see is cut around the uh, the ups and downs sorry uh, the trough of the actual metal plate so that's uh, that's done properly so we go around again the parapet walls flashed in nicely and all running smoothly towards the ease trough at the bottom of this again this parapet wall here we flashed nicely ice and water shield behind there so uh, there's no way water's going to get back in there. So if we come to this area and shoot back, so you see the east trough. What we've done also, you see that white east trough in the back there running, running down. We've, um, we've realized there's a bit of water that isn't being caught, so we caught a bit extra water. And we directed it right towards the drain on this roof here. So that's basically, uh, instead of just letting it flow, we directed it right towards the drain. Below the east trough, you see uh, metal flashing. We covered up the existing uh, exposed wood. Just, uh, just again, just better detail work. Just again, up there, we did the same thing. You can see along that hole, we had exposed wood, and we covered it up with uh, nice, clean metal flashing. So, we come over here to this this uh, roof area. Just did the same thing over and over. Uh, proper detailing work. We flashed in the uh, elevator shaft and roofed it in also. You can see along the masonry we cut a reglet out and installed the metal flashing up there. These HVAC units we installed in, flashed them, caulked them. There's really no way water is going to get in there now. And along with there, along the same thing. There was a big concern before where they were having a lot of water uh, leakage in this area. The bottom, the bottom of this unit, that's uh, that's good work, detail work. You see, again, we cut around the ribs and uh, waterproofed in behind there. So you notice we use the same, you, we use the same uh, material for the roof as we did for the back back here, the uh, elevator shaft. So you can use it up, down, you can use it sideways. So as long as it's done properly, it uh, it also gives it a more uniform uniform look when you look around. It's not different uh, profiles and stuff. So it really turned out nice. Okay, so you saw, basically you saw it start, you saw me estimate the project, you saw uh, coming out explaining what we wanted to do, we, had, we gave the clients different options, he ended up going with the metal roof in uh, the areas he felt uh, obviously budget wise were affordable to him and you know I think uh, he couldn't have made a better choice, I think it really did turn out excellent. So, um, Any kind of metal roof at all, give us a call, I hope you enjoyed uh, going through this process with us, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something again. And um, if you're in the southwestern Ontario region, we'd love to be able to come out and take a look at any kind of work you have going on and uh, give you a price and hopefully not just do the work, but basically help you come up with something that uh, is going to work good for you. So Legacy Flat Roofing and Sheet Metal, um, give us a call, southwestern Ontario. Email us, info at LegacyRoofs.com. My name is Esmeralda Sheet, and I uh, hope to hear from you. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.